How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Paper Mario episode. In the last video, we went ahead and broke into the top 10 as well as fought of a, a few different enemies. Uh, we also got ambushed by the armor harriers. And in this episode, we're going to be breaking, hopefully, into the top 3 if we can. Um, well, top 5 actually. So, let's start off with reserving a match. Um, the next opponent is the Magical Masters. Now, listen son, it's bad. I want you to avoid using your jump. Oh, okay, that's fine. We can't use our jump. So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the match. The Underworld Servants, yup, a fight is fitting for the Magic Koopa's Masters. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Um, so you might get, like, different, um, enemies. It just depends on, it varies on whatever ranking they are. So, for this first match, we have the Magic Koopa match. We're gonna use our Gumbella, little friend, to start with the White Magic Koopa. Now... That's a white magic Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in white. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It attacks with magic and can replenish its allies HP. Better hit it first, huh? Oh, this this also says that it'll use magic to make copies of itself when it's all done. Which is totally lame, because then you can't deal, tell the real deal from the copy. So, I can't even suck. so yeah, you're gonna want to focus on the Y one first. It's because she does a, a variety of different attacks. She can boost up their allies attacks or pretty much um, boost her own or make them invisible and all this other stuff. It, so yeah, you want to focus on that one first out of all of them. Alright, looks like he didn't even max in land, we'll tattle the red one. That's a red magic Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in white. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Besides using offensive magic, it can also use magic to boost attack and defense. When it's alone, this wizard will use magic to multiply. The fact that you can't tell which one- Okay, yeah, so we already heard this. I have to say though, that shade of red is definitely not its color. Yep, I agree with that one, Kumbella. Now, like I said, you want to focus on one at a time. Or, well, once you get to two, I guess you want to focus on both of them if you can. Right here, okay, they haven't used any of their magic attacks, which is surprising. And they do a, a decent chunk of damage, so it's a little, they're a little overwhelming at times. That's a green magic Koopa. It's a Koopa Wizard dressed in green. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It has magic attacks and can also magically electrify allies to make them invisible. Oh, it also says it'll use magic to make copies, yup, I already heard that, which is a little lame, yup, okay. So yeah, they're all pretty similar, however, like the white one is probably... You want to take him out first, but since I can't jump, I have to use my hammer every time. I think she might heal up here. Oh, no, they're, they're continuing to attack with me. Alright, we want to switch out Goombella. She's taking a, a rough amount of damage. That's fine. Um, kind of scared. Alright, maybe we can end it in the next turn. Hopefully. Let's see. Since Goombella's little bonk doesn't count as a little jump. Oh, I used the wrong attack. Oh, whatever. Please, please don't attack Umbella. Attack Mario or heal yourself. No! Okay, oh man, I got scared. Alright, we're fine. We avoided that. And I used the jump. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Why did I use the attack? Okay, now we have to face him again. <laughs> Oops. See, no biggie. And just like that, we get another new enemy. No! We're actually weak. This is this is terrible. This is bad. Whoa, another fighter is throwing him in. Screaming his full head off about some... Gonzalez has a lot of foes, folks. Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? Where on the street is that? Some mustache doofus was in Glitzville. And looky here. Talk about perfect timing. And now all these folks get to watch me murderize you. Oh, man. I'm scared. Uh... Uh, I think what we're gonna wanna do is settle with Goombella right off the bat and then switch her out with Mario. Yeah, I think that's probably the best move I can do at the moment. She can't take anything. That's Bowser. What's he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse. Max HP is 30, attack is 3, and defense is 1. He's uglier than I expected. He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out. It'll make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus your attention on beating him now, Mario. Alrighty, and we'll actually switch to... Pipe Honestly, I, I think it's probably the best one. 
Oh yeah, he would Bella would have definitely died. Okay. So now we can actually start fighting this guy. Um there are no specifics as to what you can do and can't do during this fight, so just make sure to beat him any way you can. He's not too difficult. But just keep an eye out. Um we're gonna start with a gold pet. Oh, we get to show off this little egg. It doesn't always work, but it occasionally works, okay. Okay, so one of them worked at least. And since it only does one damage, it doesn't really... Ugh. Alright. That's fine and dandy. Just use another power smash. Alright, no biggie. Ooh. Okay, um, what do we have for items? Whatever. Um, yeah, we're just gonna want... I don't know if it'll actually hurt him. Is his defense too much? I'm scared. Damn it, it is too much. <laughs> Alrighty, so unfortunately the defense doesn't really help. Ah, can't use moves? What? I can't use moves with Yoshi. That's alright. Alrighty, just go ahead and smash him in the head again. Fine. You can't even attack. Alright, um, yeah, the ground pound is a little annoying. We're gonna want to just use a storm. Ice storm. Hopefully it freezes him. Only three attack. Nothing? Oh man. Oof. Well, I expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you'd get some licks in. Come on. Okay, that one's not too bad. That move in particular is not as bad as his uh, ground pound. The only thing about it is it does hit both, both of your guys. Fine. We don't care. Um, we still can't use any of our moves. Oh man. Um. Sure for the heck of it, we're gonna use this. Yeah, why not? There you go, we're both the same type now, Bowser. Alrighty. And it should be over this turn, I hope. If my master is being right, we should be doing 7 damage. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I always thought I found it funny how it does a backflip. Org! Alright, not so bad. Who? That's our Gonzalez. He don't even bat an eye when someone not ambushes him. Tough, you're tough, too tough, son. And you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. So yeah, we of course we couldn't go a, a Mario game without fighting Bowser. You know, it's just it's it's an unwritten rule. Alrighty. So unfortunately, we have to fight the Magic Koopa Masters once again because um yeah I messed that up. So let me go ahead and make that battle. If nothing happens here. Wow, that was the King of Hoopas, wasn't it? Wow, that guy's insane. Yeah, so let me go ahead and take out that guy. The next battle. Alrighty, next battle. Oh boy, howdy, fix it for five, huh? Alrighty, we got the Craw Daddy. Oh, that's kind of odd. Wasn't expecting him to be right here. Uh, now listen, son, I want you to avoid using any of the special moves. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll see you guys in the battle. Alrighty, and first time we get a single opponent in some time. For our next battle. In the dark, great Gonzalez. Okay, yes, yes, we already read this. Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gate to the nether world. Now, we might have saw this earlier, previously, in as we saw in Rogueport, Crawdaddy. He fights similar to Gus. Um, now, for this fight, I recommend using either uh, Yoshi or Koops. Probably them two are the only ones that can actually do damage. That's a dark craw. Yikes, what a ghastly looking spear thrower. Max HP is 20, attack is 6, and defense is 0. Wow, that's some serious attack power. You don't want to jump on it if its spear is pointing up, because that would hurt. For a run off the middle spear tosser, he sure looks like he's got a point to make. Ha ha. Ah, uh, so funny, Goombella. You are the comedian indeed. Oh yeah, like I said, you're going to want to avoid jumping on him if you can. Um, I actually wasn't expecting to fight this guy right now. I was expecting to fight some other guys, but... Oh man, yeah, he does a crap ton of damage. So, uh, we're gonna switch to Bakun, my old lovely handy dandy partner. And this is what I mean by you can pretty much use this area to kind of grind the enemies a bit. Um, if you don't follow Grubble's little rule, you pretty much have to fight the previous, um, okay, timed it perfectly. Um, and then we're just gonna want to go up him. So yeah, you can pretty much not follow Grubba's uh, rule and you'll pretty much be able to fight the enemy you just fought. So for example, if we didn't fight, follow the rule of, um, hold on that, I can't even remember. 
If you didn't follow the rule to use, not to use the special power, we'd have to fight him again. So it's, it's kind of a way to grind enemies if you'd like. Regardless of which I might actually do in the next one. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd that floor taste? He's not too difficult, but he does a lot of attack. Here's your five money, Mr. Gonzalez. You receive 14 coins. Okay. Now, if you excuse me, I must be going. Hmm. Okay, Miss Jolene. Miss Lovely. Ooh, and we get another mail, eh? Go to the telephone booth out on the pavilion from X. Old X to surface again. We gotta go to some phone booths outside now. Where was that thing? Ah, we'll find it. Let's head, let's head outside. Alrighty, I guess we'll head out to the phone booth. Ooh. Gonzalez. Good timing, you pudgy little punk. Uncle Rockhawk got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. Quit making me such a splash if you value your puny little life. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, you better keep walking, you punk chicken. You hear me talking? Hey, wait, I wonder. You think that idiot is the one that sent us a hate mail? I guess it doesn't matter. Somebody hates us, so we better watch our steps. Yup, indeed we will. So I will see you guys at the phone booth. Alrighty, back at this phone booth, we see a little storage key right there. And let's go ahead and walk. Ooh, another email, eh? What you got to say to us? What the storage room next to Grandpa's office? What the heck is good with this guy's problem in the storage room? I mean, does he think we need the exercise? This dude is really cheesing me off. Yep, he is. So we'll see you guys back in the storage room once again. Alrighty, heading back to the storage room. We Now that we have a key, we can actually enter it. So let's go ahead on it. Um, if you haven't already, you'll usually run into Miss Jolene and the security guard as we saw in the previous episode. Oh, mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. we meet again, you husky mustache hunk, you. Are you a friend of Gonzalez? I didn't know he hung with crooks, and you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noises while you stole stuff? Oh, please. No one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying around in here. Well, whatever, lady. But you are a thief, right? Hush. All you need to know is I've taken what I needed, and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. Mm -hmm, and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Is that what's called a kiss? I heard about those things. I'm jealous. Only, only you get it. I almost forgot, my my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful, lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye, my de delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. I like how she just exited the door like nothing happened. Well, she took off Mario. What was that kiss like? I gotta give me one of those. <laughs> hey, but what do you think she meant about that being up? Somebody being upstairs. Ooh, mysterious, eh? Find the staircase switch to reach the attic from X. Staircase switch? How the heck could there be a staircase in here? Hmm, I guess we have to find something, eh? But if we just use our butt stomp right there, get a little star piece. Now, we want to switch to Flurry. It's been a while since we actually see Flurry in this chapter. Um, you can kind of pretty much blow these little boxes away. And you smash them with your hammer. We get a little charge P up. Add charge to your partner's tactic menu. Nice and dandy. And we use the same tactic in this area over here. And a lot more of these little boxes up here. Oh, just smash all of them. You actually don't even have to smash all of them. But I like getting rid of them. And we get a little switch right there. And huzzah, we get uh, the, the staircase to the upstairs. Now, we're gonna want to switch back to Yoshi. Yeah, Flurry, you had your you had your two seconds to shit of fame. I'm sorry, but it's, it's gotta be. And up here, we have a locked door. Nothing we can do at the moment. And right here, nice little shine sprite. Nice and dandy. Now, we gotta use Yoshi's ability. Make sure the time is right. And we get another one of these little, pretty much big blocks. So, just use Mario's special ability. There we go, nice and dandy. And we see a little badge up there. Alright, you get the HP plus P. Increase maximum HP by by five for your partner. Now we gotta jump down here. Ooh, mysterious, we are in the air vents. We can hear kind of someone speaking. Ooh, is this what Miss Miles was talking about? If we look down the people, let's see what's going on. Can we see? So you didn't find hide or hair of nobody in the storage room? What, that what you're saying? 
Yes, Master Grova. It appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necess necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there. We've missed too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of it, Miss Jolene. Hey, and by, by the way, any word on King K? King K, I miss King K. I'm afraid we still don't have the whereabouts of King, Mr. King K. And so, I deleted his post, his spot on our roster per regulation. The glitch pit no longer has any official connection to K, KP, KP, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all fighters who have gone missing. Who? Fighters have sure been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. What in tarnation going on? I haven't heard some security agents saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir. But I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellas that King K headed on home for a spell. If word gets out about missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for business, no siree. Natural rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills, you know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager, but you just plum disappear sometimes. I gotta know. Where in the world did you go, Starling? Uh, not that, that. Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy. Didn't mean to pry now. How about this, then? Heard of the Crystal Star? Uh, n n no. I, I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Groba. Okie dokie, well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go ahead and run along now. Here you here. Ooh. Well, if this ain't a fine, how do you do? Seems like good fighters are the dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got around here. Whoa, Gonzalez, whoa! Did you hear that? Fighters are going missing, dude. That ain't cool. Was that guy talking about King K, the minor leaguer? I thought he'd retired. <laughs> what in the hey? Dang, ceiling is spooking me. Hey, somebody up there? Meow. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Just a little old kitty. Here I am thinking somebody's up there peeping. I gotta relax. Take some yoga class or something. Yep. Well, back to the ring. Oh, we almost got caught there, hey, didn't we? Luckily, our meow senses came in at the right time. Whoa, whoa, man. We dodged a bullet there. Hey, but did you hear a guy blabbing about the crystal star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when he let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we better bail before somebody finds us up here. Indeed, we should. But we head back over here to these little air vents. Use our little paper, paper airplane mode, or just regular sideways paper. I don't know what to call it. It's such a weird name. But yeah, we get some insight on something going on, some fighters missing, do we hear the crystal stars we mentioned, and so on and so forth. But anyways guys, on that note, we are going to have to end things off here. Um, if we see in our rankings, we are now number 4. So nice and dandy, we only got about 4 more enemies. So yeah, thank you all for watching, make sure to leave a like if you liked it, subscribe to become part of the fam today, and comment on what you think is going on here because there's some funny business going on. But anyways guys, thank you all for watching, bye bye.